Hi and welcome to the first Maya training tutorial on modeling and how to use the um, tools to get to achieve the models that you want. Um, we're going to just jump right into this one here. I usually like to start with a cube. If you actually just make sure that this setting here is on polygons. This is actually Maya 2010. So it has a lot of great features that you don't have to download a lot of plugins for. But um, if you actually don't have this one, we do have uh, a lot of the plugins at my blog that you just go right to and just download at uh, digitalmagicians.blogspot.com. And just um, right on the sidebar, you'll see a lot of the downloads there. You can get plugins and stuff to actually help you along. Now, just write in create. I used to like to start with a polygon cube. Just, just drag right on this perimeter here and then pull up. Just going to center it a little bit and write in shading. Just make sure you're in smooth shading. Just make sure you got it. If you actually hit the space bar, it actually goes into your four modes with the front, side view, and top view. You're just going to stay in perspective mode here. Just going to rotate to the front. I usually like to start with the body. A lot of people start with their head first. And, um, one question I usually had, had was, um, should I keep the mesh together as one piece and not separate? Um, I like to actually keep my mesh um, separate, meaning the head, the arms, the body, and the legs all separate. Because um, when you actually do your um, lips and your face um, morphings, um, you actually will have the head separate. So you won't actually have to deal with that later. Um, that's actually going to be in another tutorial, so just make sure you're visiting the blog. Um, we'll keep that updated there. Um, right in here, they actually have a nice one right in your mesh tools here. Have a lot of different combines and splits, but um, we're just going to make sure, let me see here, that we're in our edit mesh mode. And now they have this one that's um, installed into the program itself now as a edge loop you get to actually add the edge loops right in there just click off and we're just going to switch to faces by right clicking on it and just going into faces and we're going to delete one side this is so you won't actually have to model both sides of your character just one side and if you actually go to edit duplicate with specials I'm just going to go to the option box just make sure you stuck on instance and your scale is set to negative one when you actually hit duplicate special. Oops. Sorry, I'm not in object mode here. Just make sure you're in object mode. Duplicate with specials. Going back to that option box. Hit duplicate. Now you notice when I actually move my vertexes here, just go to vertex and I'm picking a dot here. When I move one, the other side moves. So I don't actually have to model two sides of my mesh. Now we're just going to go back to object mode. And we're going to continue. Just going to go to my front view. Front view makes it a little easier to kind of shape out the front of the character going into the vertex. Now I'll just switch to my side view. Just trying to get the basic shapes of the character. And 
and how you, how I'm modeling this out, you can see there's going to be a female character. Come back into this perspective mode, making sure everything looks a little bit organic. Still looks, always starts out really boxy. Now these are your extrusion tools here. If you just hit extrude, I'm just gonna be pulling out the arms here. Make sure I got the face selected. Oh, they actually did. We're just going to use this training video to block out the characters. Um, and like I said, just make sure you stay up to my blog and you'll actually see me kind of finishing the character. Pushing away, so I make sure that it's not hard to get in there and get the rest of it. Just going to go into side view, kind of shape out that leg a little bit. And I like to show this video here because um, a lot of people, especially myself, didn't really know where to start when you come into Maya. This video actually will show you how to get started. And as you work, you can tell if you need more divisions.